Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again today. We're out here in my garage, which is also my my radio shack, where I do some of my talking on the radio. And I want to take a, a minute and make a quick video to tell you about my latest news, where I have passed my general class operator's license for amateur radio. And um, with that license, I moved from a technician to a general. Uh, with that license, I am able to now enjoy more of the HF frequencies, which are more of the, the frequencies that uh, travel better around the world. And um, <clears throat> my dad also took his exam, but he moved from general, where I am now, to the top class, which is called extra. So now he's an extra class operator, and he can get all the, the bands that he wants to talk on that are allotted by the FCC. Uh, some of the things that, that this gives me is uh, the ability to to talk on those frequencies that travel better that, and meet more people around the world. Also, uh, it allows me to get more involved uh, with uh, emergency communications where uh, if everything goes down, cell phones go down, uh, internet goes down, there's no way to contact uh, your family that are, that are in other parts of the country, you know, because of course now all of our home phones, if you have one, is uh, internet based also. So uh, with a radio like what I'm about to purchase, I would be able to send messages for people, uh, especially those of an emergency nature, to uh, get help for people and, and do things like that. I actually sent my first radiogram last week when I did our, uh, our club's net, and that was a lot of fun. I passed just a piece of traffic, you know, a message to another uh, uh, member who's also an officer. And then he passed on the message to our secretary who was out of town. So it was really fun. It's good practice. Another thing that I want to get involved with is what's called parks on the air. It's where you practice emergency communications using, uh, you know, a portable unit, uh, batteries, uh, going to a park, setting up your antennas, your, your uh, equipment, and making as many contacts as you can. And uh, that's good practice. So if uh, something does happen, my equipment is uh, ready to go and I could just go set up, set up in a temporary position anywhere I wanted to and, and uh, get, get the message out. Um, Parks on the Air is a very fun way to do that. And uh, I, I can't wait to do that. <clears throat> so uh, the reason this video also is I wanted to show you how I passed my amateur uh, general class. Uh, some of you guys may not even have your amateur radio license yet, but maybe you're looking to to get into the entry level, which is technician, or maybe you're going to move from general up to extra, like my dad did. What the first thing I did, and uh, remember, there is lots of ways to do this. Lots of ways. There's programs you can buy on the internet. There is uh, apps you can download to your phone or device. Uh, my learning style: I wanted to purchase a book and learn as much as I could about the test, what what was on the test. Um, so what I did was I bought this book and it goes chapter by chapter into different, different uh, subject matters that are in the book. Okay, so here's about uh, radio, uh, radio parts. This is a receiver, what, how a receiver works. That, that could be asked of you on the test. You know how propagation happens around the earth, how it bounces off the ionosphere, stuff like that. So this is what I wanted to learn. But now some of this stuff was over my head. Some of the uh, modes that you can use, the digital modes, I'm not really interested in right now. So what they do is they publish all the questions. For this test, there was 500 and something uh possible questions they don't test you on all those but they put them right here in the back of the book and you can see here as i was studying i would put an x by the ones i needed to work on okay and it, they're all multiple choice and they give you the answer right there so uh this was one way i studied was by using this book and like i said some of this stuff was over my head so i just went to that section memorized that set of questions what the answers were 
and I plan on learning more about that and absorbing it. It was just too much for me trying to get ready for this test. So out of the 500 and something questions, uh, I think they, uh, they, they ask you 35 out of the 500 and something questions, only 35 questions. And they tell you how many questions from each section they'll ask you. Section three, for instance, may only have five questions they may ask you out of that, that pool. Okay, so there's that. Also, I use YouTube as a way to uh, supplement this this uh, knowledge. I didn't, some of the stuff I didn't know what they were talking about, even in the book. So I would go to YouTube and search that, and there was usually somebody who had made a video that I could look at and uh, learn from it. Also, there's the regular internet pages that uh, people would do. The last way I also learned was, uh, like I said, all the all the possible questions are in the back of the book. So there are apps you can download. Some of them you pay for, some of them are free. And that, that goes for technician, general, and extra that you can download. And uh, what I did was, this is the one I use for general. I've got a glare on the screen. Looks like that. And if I was waiting somewhere, like, um, I don't know, uh, waiting at the doctor's office, for instance, uh, <clears throat> you could sit there with your phone or your tablet and go through these questions and it would quiz you on it. So the things you could do with this particular app was you could study correct answers and it breaks it up into section. And there's a big glare. I can see my wife's car behind me there. But here, here is a section I chose and it gives you the, the question and it gives you the correct answer as it's written, okay, on the test. Then you could go back here and take a section quiz. So I know you may not be able to see that. I'm sorry about the glare. Choose a section and it asks you, there was 11 questions in this section right there. Take the quiz, I'm just gonna, oh, I picked, I'm not even reading the question. That's wrong. That one's wrong, that one's wrong. That one was right. You saw that it went green and it lets you go to the next question and it tells you what you missed. And also, you can take a 35 question sample test right here. So it picks 35 questions out of all the sections and you take that test and then it grades you. So this was a good way to test my knowledge, see what I knew, what I didn't know. <laughs> So when I took my test, sorry, I'm kind of sweating here. It's hot in this garage now with the fan off. I took my test. I missed one question out of the 35. So it was one on the uh, radios, on radio makeup about the, uh, <laughs> uh, I can't even remember the question. But anyways, uh, I passed it. So anyways, I'm looking forward to uh, operating on HF now when I get my rig my radio and my, my antenna and setup. But till, until then, I'm going to continue working, you know, FM, UHF, VHF around here because we have a lot of repeaters here. Uh, I'm going to continue with my DMR radio, digital mobile radio. I can, I can talk around the world with this, but it's through the internet. So it's kind of like cheating, but still I can talk to somebody in Japan if I want to. Okay, so I got other things here. I got an NXDN radio here. It's very basic. Somebody let me borrow this a little Kenwood, but it does our NXDN around here. Also, I'm into GMRS. We have a lot of GMRS presence here in my area. General Mobile Radio Service. That's another whole radio service. It's for people who are looking to go from, you know, maybe from CB up to GMRS. In my opinion, GMRS is better because it's FM. It's a cleaner signal. A lot of people are going to it so search that if you want to know more about that also if you want to become an amateur radio operator or you're interested in radios maybe you used to be a, a cb or back in the 70s and 80s and 90s and you're thinking you know this is kind of piquing your interest uh, let me know uh, if you want to get involved with any of it because radio is radio right i'm a gmrs operator i i do uh, ham radio and occasionally you'll find me on cb too talking to to a couple guys <clears throat> that I know around here. So leave me a, uh, a question, or if you have a question, leave it down in the comments and I'll try to answer the best I can. So 
thanks very much and uh, hope you have a great day.